All right, what's going on, guys? Trev back again here to bring you another Walking Dead video. This one will be leading up to the finale now for The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 16. First, we're going to give our thoughts on 2020 being confirmed as the Year of the Dead. Rick's movie. Yeah! Alright! Are you excited enough, Trap, to Canadian Quiet Scream? Oh yeah, I'm excited enough to Canadian Quiet Scream! No, but seriously though, this is really exciting. Uh, link will be in the description to comicbook.com, so you guys go ahead and check this one out about all the big developments for next year for The Walking Dead. So I haven't even seen Talking Dead yet, but we got some quotes. We got some quotes, so maybe I'll watch it, you know, all the way through later tonight or something. We'll see. Uh, so, because it's good stuff, and uh, I should know this stuff, right? I should know I should know what's going on with Walking Dead next year, because it sounds like um, 2020 is going to be a monumental year for The Walking Dead, with the biggest thing being, of course, that uh, the movie's coming, right? Rick's coming back, guys! <laughs> Rick's coming back! So that's, you know, I mean, that's, that's really awesome. I mean, the whispers are great and everything. We've got a lot of action, heads on pikes and crazy shit and Daryl kicking ass and all this good stuff. And that's great. But it's nice also to finally get an update that's like, don't forget, Rick's still coming back. He's not, he's not dead, right? So we got this. It's coming up. And uh, here's some details. And, all, of course, there's also the third series in the works. So they're going to be, you know, uh, I don't know if it's going to premiere next year. We'll go through the details of this article first. Um, but... You know, there'll be the original Walking Dead series with season 10. Fear of the Walking Dead will have another season. We got some updates for that too coming up. We'll go through in a minute. And then, of course, the movie. And then somewhere, the third series will come into play here. So let's see what it, uh, what it says. So, The Walking Dead Chief Content Officer Scott Kimball teased big developments out of the blossoming Walking Dead universe and hints the first Andrew Lincoln led Rick Grimes movie will reach AMC in 2020. Yeah, we. Quote, we are working on a number of things right now. They're getting very close. Uh, we're going to have a steady flow of announcements through the rest of the year. And then 2020 is going to be bananas, Gimple said on Talking Dead Sunday, which, again, I haven't seen yet. <laughs> so uh, there's going to be some pre-announcements made. Uh, we're going to have some announcements after that. But um, I will say, uh, or but what I will say is Fear the Walking Dead is coming up in uh, in June and there is a story in the first half of the season that has to do with one of these greater stories of the universe that will bring in some of the things that all of you guys have seen before, and it will expand it out just a little bit more. And then we'll have an announcement. So, what the hell did he just say? <laughs> As you guys know, Gimple is king of using a whole bunch of words here and saying nothing. <laughs> okay, so let's let's dissect this first part of what he said down. So 2020 is going to be bananas. Yes, hell yes, right? The Rick Grimes movie's coming, uh, and it'll probably hit in 2020. Awesome, awesome stuff. So, or it looks like it, it will as long as as long as there's nothing catastrophic or anything. It sounds like it's going to be a 2020 release. So very excited for that. And then he's saying basically that Fear of the Walking Dead is going to premiere in June. So that's important too, right? Because we need to know when Fear was going to start. Because of course there's uh, Morgan returning, which is awesome. Because there's hardly any of those season one survivors left. So it, I feel like it makes Fear even more legitimate. The fact that he's still in it and there's just almost no early season Walking Dead. Even recently, like, you know, Tara, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, there's almost hardly any survivors still from the beginning. So we got to treasure the time we get to see with them with Morgan on Fear. And then, of course, Dwight is going to be joining Fear, which we can't wait to see. And very smart decision from AMC this year to start Fear of the Walking Dead in June and avoid Game of Thrones territory. That is a good idea because, let's be honest here, when Game of Thrones is running with its final season on Sunday nights, you do not want to compete with it. It's not a good idea. You know, as much as I love The Walking Dead as a franchise as a whole, and even, you know, love-hate relationship with fear, <laughs> I know all you guys have, um... I personally like it most of the time, but there's even some deaths in season four that you guys know I was kind of irate over. Uh, I, was, I was seeing red, right? As Morgan said, red. <laughs> I do it. Um, I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't shut off. I didn't. I didn't turn off. But I got close a couple times during season four of Fear, namely the mid-season uh, finale there. But um, so them avoiding the uh, the premiere of Game of Thrones, really smart idea. Good on you, uh, uh, Gimster and AMC for avoiding that. Very intelligent. You do not want to go head-to-head -head on the same night premiere 
uh, as Game of Thrones. No one will watch your show. I'm sorry to tell you. It just it, Next year you can do it because Game of Thrones is over, but this year you just can't do it. Smart decision. Uh, Gimple's hits, uh, hints come shortly after Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman teased soon to arrive news in the letter hacks column uh, backing uh, March's uh, The Walking Dead 189, writing, uh, There's just so much cooking behind the scenes with The Walking Dead right now that Scott Gimple has stepped into his overseer role on the TV side of things. So that's, um, yeah, so we kind of knew about that. I've sort of referred to him as the Kirkman for the TV universe. So basically, for the comics, of course, Kirkman is the creative mind. Then you have Charlie Adler, who's the who's the genius who takes those thoughts and, and words and puts them into imagery, right, with his amazing artwork so that we can actually get to read something in, in graphic form. Um, so, of course, you know, both of them very important. But overall, I mean, you know, you have Kirkman there as the mastermind for everything that happens in, in the comics and writer and everything. And then, of course, some things get, you know, interpreted certain ways with the art and get interpreted down, you know, after that. But for the TV series universe that's Gimple right so he might even be busier than Kirkman at this point because he's got to watch over the movie production and what's going on with that he's got to help uh, with the TV series still with the uh, original series even though Angela Kang probably you know does 90 percent he's probably still in there for 10 percent at least helping guide her through of her first season of show running and stuff like that she's been writing forever but you know to have to be there as somebody who checks you know, it's, it's not a bad thing. Maybe if he had somebody there in season eight, he wouldn't have killed Carl. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not bad to have someone check, right? Your Stan Lee or something of the sort. Your editor to check your stuff that you're going to put in your comic or your TV show or whatever. Um, so, you know, it's not it's not a bad not a bad idea. So but so he'll be there to check the others, uh, regardless how you feel about that. Uh, I, pers- I, I personally, I like Gimbal. I think he's, for the most part, he's built the Walking Dead TV universe into what it's, what it's been. I know he's like the Shredder. He's like an evil villain to you guys, so, so don't hang me. You know, don't put my head on a pike just because I said I like it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cool. Uh, I get it. No problem. Um, then it says, stay tuned for all kinds of news as we get closer to the launch of Season 5 of Fear of the Walking Dead, uh, Kirkman added. And we get deeper into development of this Rick Grimes TV movie. So it sounds like he's still you know, somewhat involved here. There's some great stuff coming along. Could Fear Season 5 and the looming Rick Grimes movie be linked? Gimple, who oversees all things dead in his new position as CCO of the brand, took on a uh, creative executive role in Fear's semi-rebooted fourth season and is petting the first Walking Dead movie. So, okay, there's something right there. So he'll be writing, it sounds like, the first Walking Dead movie. So that's very cool, which I've kind of predicted I think it's going to be based sort of somewhat similar to... Uh, Day of the Dead. But I could be totally, could be completely wrong, right? You know, we'll see what he does with it. Uh, Likely to be in development, uh, tied to Gimple's uh, ambiguous, greater stories of the universe comments. So maybe that will be Commonwealth. Maybe Rick will be somehow involved, I don't know, somehow involved in the Commonwealth or something. Or maybe a group of villains that are going to be some kind of bigger um, type of deal. Wouldn't that be cool if somehow they could have everything kind of come together? And maybe that could be part of his role where you could have somehow... The Walking Dead, you know, movie, you know, meet with, like in a season or something. Like somehow they could, I don't know how they could do this. Like maybe they'd do it in a third a trilogy movie, like a big hurrah type thing where they would have, you know, somehow Rick could find the others and they could all kind of come together for one big thing in the final movie or something. Like he comes and he gets Daryl and the others from the original series and Carol. He brings them in and Michonne, obviously. Probably Michonne will probably find him in the second movie or something. And then he brings in the others and then maybe he somehow reaches out to Morgan and and brings him in, and uh, they have some kind of, I don't know, Avengers Endgame battle I don't know, <laughs> against some villain. Who would be the ultimate Walking Dead villain for the last movie? I don't know. Uh, that's really tricky to have to say. That'd be Negan, right? Negan would run off and become a uber villain again or something. I don't know. Uh, it'd have to be some, something awesome, though, right? So that could be cool. Um, they'd, he'd have to come up with a great villain to do that. Kirk, you'd have to have Kirkman and Gibble come together and create a villain together. Then then maybe we could get something really cool, right? So let's see what we got here. So, uh, ambiguous, greater stories in the universe comment. If a link exists, uh, it's likely tied to the elusive helicopter uh, ultimately used to write Lincoln out of The Walking Dead. That storyline first introduced back in Season 7 wouldn't pay off until Season 9 when uh, Anne or, or Jadis rescued him, and yada, 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 as we all know. Okay, so I'm not going to read that part. And then Dwight going to fear, as I've said, 
2020 was previously hinted at as the release window for the first Walking Dead movie when Gipple told Entertainment Weekly the project was uh, most likely filming in 2019, adding work on the films would get underway sooner uh, than later, or basically as soon as possible, right? Um, previously reported, Kirkman was heavily involved with the project, which is awesome. The Walking Dead next airs its uh, season 9 finale, you know, we know, next Sunday, and Fear the Walking Dead set to uh, premiere uh, in June. So that is all around, I think, great news. Walking Dead movie 2020. Awesome stuff. Very happy to hear it. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead going on strong. And some kind of, you know, they haven't given us too many details, but some kind of overarching connection between all the different Walking Dead properties and maybe some kind of Walking Dead, you know, I don't know, Super Bowl or somewhere. <laughs> Everybody come together or something. I don't know. Um, we'll see what they come up with. Or maybe not. Maybe just Rick somehow meeting with the others again or, or something. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this one. Uh, what do you think about all the details here? 2020 is going to be an awesome year for Walking Dead. Uh, can't wait to see this uh, this Sunday's uh, storm finale. It's going to be great too. And very happy to hear that the movie will be uh, airing next year. Rick will be coming back. Yeah, it feels like it's going by pretty quick. You know, it feels like the wait's not too bad because it's 2019 now. We just saw some awesome stuff for Walking Dead. Then we'll have Fear this year. We'll have Game of Thrones coming up soon for those of you guys who watch that too. And uh, then, you know, next year, uh, we'll be getting to see it, man, after the first half of season 10 and likely the uh, the Whispers and whatever happens with that next year. Um, you know, just after that, after season 10, uh, sometime the following year, um, you know, we'll be getting to see it. Um, who knows? Maybe fall, maybe summer. I, I don't know. Maybe after season 10 ends, that'd be a good time to premiere it or something. So let me know what you guys think about all that stuff. Hope you guys have been enjoying all the videos lately. If you have, don't forget to thumb this one up. If you want to help support the channel, you can do so through Patreon. Link will be in the description of the video. You can chip in or tip a uh, dollar a month or something if you want to to help Trev's Gen 2 continue. And uh, yeah, man, hope you guys have been having fun, man. That's the name of the game, right? So we're going to keep doing that and uh, looking forward to this Sunday's episode. I'll see you guys back again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.